Hi guys, welcome back to Junlis Blog Gadag React. So for today's video reaction, let's go to one of our favorite country or our favorite country which is Russia. Privet and spasiba to our Russian friends. How are you guys? If you're doing well and amazing. And the title of this video, and this is our part 3 of History of Russia, Epic History and Credit to the Honor also with the video to Epic History TV. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video and if you need to my channel just click on subscribe button click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads and if you have some comments and suggestions related to this video or any russian video russian artist that you can suggest drop a comment section i'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video request um there are a lot of uh, like especially our russian supporter that they like half half of the idea that some of the russian agree with what's in the video and of course there are people who disagree because they know uh, much more of the russian history and of this epic history i really want to know more of you guys at the comment section in which part that uh, there might be something wrong in the comment down section so that we will understand that uh, this is not true and we will believe in the video we will fully believe or not and i really appreciate of you guys to those people who write in their comments write in their comments of they like the video to some that are uh, some of the part that they don't like it and i would love to listen with you at the comment section once again so that we will understand also the history of russia and that's truly important so that not just me being as a content creator to the other readers also to the other watchers so that they will fully understand with this and i hope guys you will enjoy watching with this one and let's get to know a little more with this uh, part three of history of russia history of russia continues with the reign of catherine the great a time of cultural splendor enlightened autocracy and enormous territorial expansion catherine's reign saw the annexation of Crimea and the partition of poland and settlement of novorossiya by russian colonists under the supervision of town Potemkin, a European migrant such as the Volga Germans settled in Russia while Russia new Jewish population live with the pale of settlements. All those uh, informations, the Epic History TV, I'll put all in my uh, description also guys so that you will understand, you will get further information and once again, I would love to listen with you. What are your thoughts with regards to this video? What are you do you want to disagree or agree? with the video of course and enjoy with this one prevent and spasiba to all of you guys epic history tv In the early 1700s, Peter the Great's reforms put Russia on the path to becoming a great European power. Wow. But it was his grandson's German wife, Catherine, Catherine, who deposed her husband to become Empress of Russia, who oversaw the completion of that transformation. Wow. Like Peter, she too would be remembered as the Great. Imagine of this time that ladies also can allow to rule and be uh, powered. Wow, Catherine. Catherine was a student and admirer of the French Enlightenment. Amazing. And even corresponded with the French philosopher Voltaire. She reigned as an enlightened autocrat. Oh. Her power was unchecked, but she pursued ideals of reason, tolerance and progress. Oh. Catherine became a great patron of the arts and learning. Schools and colleges were built. The Bolshoi Theatre was nice. founded, as well as the Imperial Academy of Fine Arts. Wow, While her own magnificent collection of artwork now forms the basis of the world-famous Hermitage Museum. This Catherine encouraged amazing. Europeans to move to Russia to share their expertise and helped German migrants to settle in the Volga region, where they became known as Volga Germans. Their communities survived nearly 200 years, until, oh. on Stalin's orders, they were deported east at the start of World War II. 
Catherine's reign also saw enormous territorial expansion. Great. In the south, Russia defeated the Ottoman Empire, winning new lands and the fortresses of Azov and Kerch. But then Catherine faced a major peasant revolt, led by the renegade Cossack Yemelian Pugachev. Oh. The rebels took many fortresses and towns, and stormed the city of Kazan, before they were finally defeated by the Russian army. Oh, nice. Catherine then forcibly incorporated the Zaporozhian Cossacks into the Russian Empire, and annexed the Crimean Khanate, a, a thorn, thorn in Russia. Russia's side for 300 years. years. Russia's new lands in the south were named Novorossiya, New Russia. Russia. Sparsely populated, they were settled by Russian colonists under the supervision of Prince Potemkin, Catherine's oh. advisor and lover. <laughs> advisor and a lover. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, exhausted by war and at the mercy of its neighbors, was carved up in a series of partitions, with Russia taking the lion's share. Poland did not re-emerge as an independent nation until oh. 1918. Russia inherited a large Jewish population from Poland, who Catherine decreed could live only in the so-called Pale of Settlement, and were excluded from most cities. In France, the French Revolution led to the execution of King Louis XVI. Catherine was horrified, and in the last years of her reign, completely turned her back on the liberal idealism of her youth. Oh my God. Three years later, Catherine died, ending one of the most glorious reigns in Russian history. She was succeeded by her son, Paul, mm. a man obsessed by military discipline and detail, wow. and opposed to all his mother's works. Seriously? Russia joined the coalition of European powers, he fighting revolutionary Russia. France. Marshal Suvorov, one of Russia's greatest military commanders, won a series of victories against the French in northern Italy. But the wider war was a failure. Oh, God. Meanwhile, Paul's reforms had alienated Russia's army and nobility and he was murdered in a palace coup. He was succeeded by his 23-year-old son Alexander, who shared his grandmother Catherine's vision for a more modern Russian state. Catherine ideas was his so advisor, nice. the brilliant Count Mikhail Speransky, reformed administration and finance. Oh. Yet the emperor refused to back his plans for a liberal, liberal constitution. constitution. Ultimately, it was war with France that, that would, would dominate do Alexander's reigns. Napoleon, Napoleonic Wars. France had a new emperor, Napoleon Bonaparte, yeah, who inflicted a series of defeats on Russia and her allies. Really? Austerlitz, Eilau, and Friedland. But at Tilsit in 1807, the two young emperors met and made an alliance. This is really interesting. Russia attacked Sweden, annexing Finland, which became an autonomous Grand Duchy within the Russian Empire. But then, in 1812, Napoleon, Napoleon invaded Russia. Oh, really? At Borodino, French and Russian armies clashed in a gigantic battle one of the bloodiest of the age. Napoleon emerged victorious, but the Russian army escaped intact. Napoleon occupied Moscow, which was destroyed by fire. And when Alexander refused to negotiate, the French, French army was forced to make a long retreat through the Russian winter and was annihilated. Napoleon had been dealt a mortal blow and Russia, alongside Prussia, Austria, and Britain, then led the fight back, which ended in the capture of Paris and Napoleon's abdication. At the Congress of Vienna, as part of the spoils of war, 
Alexander became King of Poland. Oh. Then, with Austria yeah. and Prussia, he formed the Holy Alliance, with the aim of preventing further revolutions in Europe. Meanwhile, in the Balkans and Caucasus, Russia had been waging intermittent wars against the Ottoman Empire, Persia and local tribes. So much interesting in this story. The frontier had been pushed south to incorporate Bessarabia, Circassia, Chechnya and much of modern Georgia, Dagestan, Azerbaijan and Armenia. But the peoples of the Caucasus bitterly resisted Russian rule. Russia's attempt to impose its authority on the region led to the Caucasian War, a brutal conflict fought amongst the mountains and forests that would drag on for nearly 50 years. Alexander was succeeded by his brother Nicholas, a conservative and reactionary. Oh. But parts of Russian society had now developed an appetite for European-style liberalism, including certain army officers who'd seen other ways of doing things during the Napoleonic Wars. They saw Nicholas as an obstacle, oh my and the God. new emperor's first challenge would be military revolt. Wow. Epic History TV relies on the support Bravo. of its viewers to keep making history videos. Please visit our Patreon page to find out more. It's truly interesting. Please support also guys with Epic History TV. This is what I always enjoyed with this video because history of Russia is such an epic one, mysterious and tragic, majestic that you really, and there is an ups and down of also with the Russian of how they conquer in their country. And that's so amazing. But this is a video that you really want to put in the four corners of the school or it, it will be taught in the school because the chronological order of how these people, kings and then the queens ruled in their country and then in Russia how they fought followed by their sons and their husbands and how their rule was if it's good or bad but still they are conquering such cities they are fighting with the country it's leaving something that people will truly believe in their power they truly believe that they give us such a great impression during those times and this is so amazing learning such this history especially in russia because of my channel it's more on russian history russian videos and wow i so enjoyed with this one I, I truly want to listen with your side also what are your thoughts with regards to this uh history of russia part three because i enjoyed it so much there is something that i'm learning of the history the chronological order and the way it was narrated it's so fantastic that you truly understand you truly know wow this is happening in that time in world war ii and that's so interesting i hope guys you enjoyed watching with this one and if you do and if you really want to see the full video and connect with the owner of the video i'll put in the description box below if you like this video guys him as i did just give a massive thumbs up like and share subscribe also with my channel this is junis blagadag react saying scamble to positive guys if you want to connect my social media account is in here if you want to connect my second channel it's in the description box below thank you so much for being and spasibat to our russian friends have a good day everyone bye bye mabuhay po tayong lahat god bless po and see you in my next video reaction